All right, so after that extremely crazy game, no idea how come we lost so much time, yo. I must really have not been paying attention or just playing slow or something, but my gosh. Wow, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. Sit in with the good luck, have fun. Definitely not keeping that hand. It's a Yorion deck. So, pretty much, we want some redundancy as far as getting the Tron, if at all possible. What we're gonna put back is the star. Then, we're definitely gonna keep this hand. Gets the Tron, and then we can board wipe. And we can also name Bosiju so they can't destroy our lands, which is just good. I know they probably have Prismatic Ending in hand, but that's fine. Leyline Binding, Misty Rainforest, Olmas. Leyline Binding, Misty Rainforest, Double Misty Rainforest. Let's shut them off completely then. gonna be on the struggle with us as far as getting mana to cast stuff out there. Downside here is ay, ay. we have all the mana, but we can't cast any green spells yet. Double Misty, so basically our spyglass is working great. All right, now we get to cast something. Hopefully, we get to hit something relevant here pretty soon. Guess Walking Ballista is going to have to be what it is for now. But seeing as though we can play one more thing, let's go second Walking Ballista. I mean, second in Ancient Strings. Karn Liberated is just good here. It's like the same thing as a turn 3 Karn because they haven't done anything yet. Let's go ahead and start exiling some lands. Only land that can produce colored mana. This is Glimpse of Tomorrow, huh? Yorian Glimpse. Make sure they stay off. 
Oh, we should have taken the colony garden because it adds green. Ouch. Did I play a land for this turn already? I did. So next turn if we can hit this attack, they lose. Whew. So so your spyglass, let's go. That's why we play it. All right. So we know what kind of deck they are now. We know Chalice is great. Walking Ballista. Let's not un undervalue that. Leyland Bindings in there. Old Stone, Trinisphere, Ratchet Bomb, Torpor Orb, Pithy Needle, Cage. Iron. A lot of great cards here, but of course we can't take them all. <sighs> so to prioritize. Well, we know they play Renin Six, right? We know Torpor Orb is usually their end win condition, so let's not not play that main deck. Let's leave it for Karn. We know walking ballistas can snipe their creatures, but I don't think we we'll solely want to rely on that. I think in snaring bridge as well, we might as well get rid of that, just because of the fact that it's end game when we die and it's normally small creatures attacking us, usually for the most part. And then we need something to throw off their combo. I think let's get rid of Chalice. Chalice comes out very very quickly and uh, makes itself a pretty big target then besides that let's see obviously sorcery spyglass just now was pretty amazing naming mr. reinforce it basically took them out the game completely we know platinum imperion will not necessarily win us the game here I think Sundering Titan for Platinum Imperion. Well, we can't search for it, so... To me, this looks good. If we could search, if we had Sanctum of Ugin in the deck... <sighs> Then uh, Platinum Imperion or Sundering Titan in the main deck would be s a lot better, I think. Because we're so geared towards searching that it just comes naturally. Hmm.
Well, I think if they had Misty Rainforest, they would have played it first this time, right? Wave shifter. Oh, sifter. Sif. I thought it was shift, but it's sifter. Maybe I should have. Nah. Yeah. Trying to get to regular turn three Tron here. Sifting through the. Huh. Oof, are they gonna go up already? No, they put Yorion in hand. Let's go. Nice, and we get Tron online. Karn does not guarantee we win. Trinisphere on the other hand definitely slows them down a lot. This is turn three and we've played a land every turn, so have they. Uh, let's just go with Trinisphere. I guess we can find out if Walking Ballista is actually going to be good or not first before doing anything else. Since they can only play one spell per turn, that should limit them by a lot. The biggest start we have here is what? Hmm. Um, seizure? be kind of liberal in my life here and just get rid of this map Drawing into stuff like Karns would be way, way better than anything else right now. Did we take any Karns out, by the way? We did not. Oh, I could have exiled that as well. Snipe the Omoth first. So Omoth's dead. Let's go ahead and exile this land. 
We are going pretty heavy on the exile, but it must be done. It must be done. How much is Yorial? Five? Yep. Well, we have to draw that one. Let's see what we can get here. Kind great creator. All right, let's go. Let's go get Sundering Titan. Good thing is they can't use that. Leyland Binding. Oh, they're taking Trinisphere here, huh? Ouch. They actually might come out of this pretty good. They actually might. The downside is if Leyland Binding leaves the battlefield, then I get Trinisphere back, and that should counter their Violent Outburst. So it puts them in a position where they can't really glimpse. Let's see. Should work how I just said. Leyline binding. Let's see. Leyline binding. Do you come back to me before all their stuff happens? Glimpse happens, right? Yep, it comes back. Oh no. Double ley line binding now? Oh, so I guess Glimpse, since Glimpse resolves instantly, it doesn't allow Trinisphere to actually work. Hmm, that's interesting. They're exiling Mystic Forge. I guess they don't have another. Ooh, nope. They might have another. Glimpse of Tomorrow or something in hand. They left Karn out. It's a little odd to me. But they know if they're gonna win, they have to win on this turn. So they're probably gonna do whatever they can do to try to win here. On this very turn, that oh, they exiled a glimpse. Wow, okay. Let's get this guy out there. Come on. Oops. Should have held priority. Haha, <laughs> Chalice of the Void, let's go. They're probably gonna be so mad right now.
Fury to destroy Karn. Okay, not bad, not bad. Decent tactic. And potentially go up on lands as well because of Risen Reef. I can respect it. Let's go ahead and go get a land here first. Let's just go ahead and use the mana, right? Get a forest, that way we can guaranteed cast green spells next turn. Okay, alright, two Yurion decks, I think. Second game was a lot faster though. Catch y'all in the next one, peeps.